Right, obviously we talked about Cloud9. I want to talk about the other traditionally great North American team, which is, of course, TSM. So there's a, here's some stats <laughs> for you guys. TSM has lost every single game they've played in the split so far. They are literally the last place team in LCS. And so technically, as they've won zero games and they are last place, they could be the worst team in the entire world of League of Legends. That's actually, <laughs> that's not my opinion. That's just the way that stats work and facts work. I just wanted to be able to say that on an episode of Something Insight. That's where we're at, Reggie. That's how far you've come. <laughs> I, you love you, you love to see it. Reality so, so here's right. the thing: Astralis exactly. is 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 zero and nine over in Europe, but they also almost won this last week. Yes, <laughs> they were ten k up in that game, or like nine k or something. I remember what they should have won that game. It was bad. Uh, uh, it was man. embarrassing. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I really like White Knight, like you know, as a person. So I was really sad for him, but but yeah, um, TSM. Uh, ooh. Uh, well, it's so, just a pretty bold off-season moves and people don't know. They brought in Tactical, who was very heavily criticizing Team Liquid. And then they brought in these two Chinese players slash XL, LPL talents or whatever the fuck. They're obviously going with a bold scouting approach themselves. Can you tell us any thoughts about this team? What, what do you know okay. about them? So, firstly, I just want to make it clear that I think leaking swims is bad and I will never leak swims. Okay, number, so number one thing. Number two, blab, uh, no, <laughs> so, number two, speaker, oh, was, okay. speaker, okay. speaker was on a different talk show uh, and implied that going into the finals of lock-in, EG may have scrimmed TSM and may have been running it down every single game that EG picked uh, Varus and therefore... EG thought Varus was really, really strong going into the series and Steve should give him uh, a paycheck or something like this for the finals, right? I'm not going to confirm or deny that. I'm just going to say that that has been, that that has been said. Um, <laughs> look, uh, and yeah, uh, so, so TSM, um, you know, they have coordination issues. It's a language issue. It's not the same as bringing in, you know, somebody like Summit who... The question is, who is the veteran leader on this team? Because you, you need some veteran leadership on some team, unless you have like a, a rookie who is just a natural born leader, right? And so Mad Lions got away with it. You can argue maybe we didn't get away with it because we lost the players, but, you know, got away with it over the course of the year because Humanoid was like a natural, he just, he, he's just, a, you know, you, you have him on your team and you want to follow him and you want to see him succeed. Uh, and the question is, who is that player on TSM? Because it can't be Shen Yin and it can't be Kuai Duo at the start. Uh, and is it Speaker? Is it Huni? I mean, I don't know much about Huni, but from what I've seen about him, he he looks like a fun, fun-loving guy. But he's not, you know, the main character in 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 the story, um, especially when he's been on really strong teams. So, so is it is it Speaker? Who knows? It's implied um, it is. I know they said he could speak Chinese as well, or whatever. Well, but that's, that's I, the, I assume the assumption is he's the leader. Yeah, now. but that's yeah. the problem. We've seen in in interviews already that TSM players are saying that Spica is translating within games, which obviously, like, if he's spending a lot of his time translating, he can't be spending a lot of time making complex shot calls. I mean, that's just true. Yeah. There's only so much time. Yeah, but but I mean. <laughs> You know, speaker. You can you can call somebody a leader, and you can have somebody actually be a leader, yes. right? So, so like again, Pugs is the default example of this, right? Oh, obviously, Pugs is playing really well in the LEC right now, but he's not always playing really well. Like sometimes he just plays really badly, but it doesn't <laughs> matter because he is the leader, right? And you can't like. There's many things you can coach, and there's many things you can teach, but you can never like. Break that premise down, though, because you said that in like an offhand manner. Like, by the way, it sounded like you were taking cues from the wrong career there. It doesn't matter that he's wrong because he's the leader. Like, when you say that, though, what do you mean by that? Unpack that a little bit. Why is that relevant? Because it, can, because it means people will follow your call, right? It doesn't yes. matter how badly you're doing or how badly, like, you're playing individually. If, 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 if you, if somebody, like, and it's really hard, like, if you see it in a player, you know, you know it. You know it when you see it, but it's really hard to go and say, this guy is that guy, right? And the only reason I'm mentioning perks is because so many people over so many years have said it, right? So I, I've never worked with Pucks. I, I don't know what he's like at all. You know, maybe he's super quiet. Again. I doubt it, but you know, maybe he's not. He <laughs> <laughs> I've watched scrims. He's not. <laughs> um, but but you know, there's sometimes that when things are going badly or when people don't know what to do, there is you, you can have a voice in a team that says, "Do this," right? And people just follow. They don't question. They just follow. Um, and humanoid again is one of those players um, that I've worked with. But the 
But uh, who is that player on TSM? Is it Speaker? Like, I, I don't know. But if it is Speaker, it's going to be the first time he's going to be doing this in his career. Um, and, uh, you know, if it's Kaido or it's Shinji, um, then then they're not going to be that at the start. In the same way, even if Jojo has all those talents, and I believe that he does have the talent to be a leader one day in the future, you can't just come in and do that, right? Like in, into another league. It just doesn't work like that unless you are a one in a million player. And I'm not even convinced when Perks came straight into LEC, he was like, I think Trick Trick had a lot of, and he had other yes. veterans. So he I mean, say as much himself in yeah. interviews. Yeah. yeah. What's wild, if you think about it, is TSM has just completely inverted everything about TSM Monty. The entire team is based around a carry top lane and the jungler's the fucking shot caller who tells everyone what to do. What's that? Like, Reginald, I know you <laughs> fucked everything up in your whole life, but this isn't that Seinfeld episode, the opposite, where he just starts doing the opposite in his entire life. Like, that doesn't actually work. That was just a cool conceit for an episode, you idiot. <laughs> At this point in yeah. time, though, the joke is, like, who hasn't left TSM? This point, you know, the fucking yeah, part of the that letters was probably gonna leave. Yeah, probably just oh, the SM next or something. But should we call BDSM the way they're fucking paid and take a beat in that? Anyway, I'm falling through. I apologize. It's, 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 but but Reggie's not doing League of Legends anymore, right? I don't know what he's doing right now. <laughs> Some would say fucking his whole no. life and career up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think <laughs> I, 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 if I had to guess, Peter Dan, what Reggie's doing. No, right who now, is doing TSM? I, I mean, I guess it's my boy Case technically, right? Isn't he still there? Yeah. A, him, right? he's, he's an assistant coach. Yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah. I think, um, you know, Reggie probably can't do anything right now until these investigations conclude mm, would be yeah. my, uh, was, by the way, let's be real. I know the whole time he was the coach, like path kept going. I'm not even supposed to bloody be here. Like dad came from fucking clerks, but he was the coach that won loads of championships. And I always got the vibe that in their relationship, like, listen, if it was Monty, I was talking to him here. I'd actually use like a cultured reference and say, he's sort of like the fucking, the butler from PG Woodhouse or something, you know, like getting everything together and whatnot. The problem is none of the kids, Kids and Zoomers are going to know what the fuck I'm talking about. So instead, I'll just say he's more like, I don't know, Smithers and Mr. Burns. That's some sort of relationship I imagined they had. Where I thought Path just did everything. And then Reginald just sat around going, and how can we fuck Team Liquid now? Or whatever. Like, <laughs> like, I don't know, Reggie. I guess we're just trying to fucking pay for their players or something. Like, you know, I, that's always the fact. I don't know what's going on at TSM now. It's actually getting sad, Peter. Like, I wish I could make that whole segment really fun. I've only got five minutes out of it. They're going to be just an <laughs> underwhelming team this year. Like, there's no way this team's winning the LCS or going to Worlds, yeah. mate. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, there's, uh, I, I mean, apparently in the chat, somebody's saying they have Dominic, who, who's a new uh, VP. So of the VP of esports, the new VP of okay. esports is Dom, um, who came from Genji. I actually know him. Um, okay. Thorin, I'll, I'll let you opine when I when I issue the following statement. Uh, I, I don't know how many other divisions he was part of, but he was part of the CSGO roster for Genji and putting that roster together. Huh? It was all right. It wasn't great, yeah. but it was all right. Just okay. A uh, competent guy, though, from from my conversations with him. So um, I think okay. interesting hire. But I, I mean, to be clear, like if you dislike a team, you know, you want that team to be strong. So you could go and, you know, if your coach smash them yourself or awesome. if you can or if you're if you don't like a particular team, uh, you know, you want them to go and have their 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 dreams taken away from them right yeah so so you know I like more the latter me but yeah that's me that's my master that feels like take from them everything you know? yeah i mean like 2019 no yes, like exactly. no wait no, no it was a 20 it's 2020 right 2020 is, is is the dream if 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 uh if, if you if uh you don't like tsm that much you know it's Give them a little bit of hope and then yes. take it all away. It's not, by the way, if people don't get it, it actually isn't as much fun when they don't go to Worlds. Yeah, they obviously exactly. have to go to Worlds and then take the beating. Like, it's not as much fun they just don't even get there. So people yeah. don't get it in summer, I actually low-key puff them. In fact, my dream is if they do win the summer split because then their fans start to go, hmm, maybe, I think this, yeah, this it could happen this time. And then they just get, and then that's when yeah. so <laughs> like, if, it's, if it's a team yeah. I don't like, if it's a, so, so I think there's only like one team that I dislike like in, in League of Legends, which is oh, which Turkish team is that? No, he, it's it's actually Red Cannons, but uh, <laughs> there we go. I never, but I never, I never want that team to be bad. You know, like it's if they're just bottom of the league, I don't want to. I that's just sad. You know, it's just. I, I, like I want them to be really good. I mean, and then, you know, I want them to go to the finals and cheer against them, right? Like that's it. I, I hate to say it, but like I don't even know if I, I'm going to be able to hate TSM 
you know, in the future. Like, you know, the things I really disliked about TSM, like Reggie, who knows where that's going? Like, he might not even be involved in the future. Like, I don't know where this investigation's headed. I guess we'll hear something, you know, in the, in the coming weeks. But that's a possibility. And then all their fans left when Bjergsen left. So they don't even really have annoying fans anymore. So, yeah. like, how can I hate them if Reggie and the fans are not? I, I, don't, I don't think I can. Yeah. <laughs> also, they not ruin the whole fucking reality series. Don't my favorite <laughs> character, Reginald, who was the Kramer of the show, isn't just busting in the room like the Kool-Aid man anymore, is he? Like, now he's just off in some fucking, I don't know, opium den, just going, being... Just just having some guy run in and have a we were, we're four and six in the spring city oh, oh, okay back into season two was some I don't fucking know no one knows where this guy is it's actually shit because that's the thing I used to love the fact he was so front face and he was in all there trying to like manage the team it was fucking amazing because the best thing was I always thought like if you took away all the stupid stuff he said the fact that like he essentially held people accountable and he would at least try and like force certain types of conflicts that people had to address them. in some ways that actually did have at the beginning mad value like it was sort of sure. a bit OP the problem is every year it's like you had diminishing returns on that until by the end you could almost tell they were almost like sort of waiting for him to get the fuck out of the room so they could just talk about what they actually were going to do in the game anymore it just got really awkward didn't it like it really was still that meme of like alright Reginald just going like why are you buying you know fucking swifty boots and then just going alright Reginald back to bed, mate. Yeah, right. <laughs> I fucking old grandma meme. Like, what the fuck? It's got sad at the end. It's got sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just yeah. the nursing home status. It's like, you know, oh, yeah, all right, Dyrus. Dyrus hasn't been in the team for about four years, Reggie. All right, back to bed. <laughs> 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 I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's 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 kind of sad. So I I hope they I hope they get it together. You know, even though it may be worse for EG's chances at Worlds, you know, you want good competition so you can go and smash them into the floor, right? It's no fun just just smashing bad teams, right? Want to see more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content? Well, subscribe to this channel, then, or you know, be a pleb and don't.